What's up guys, Jeff here with Passive Income Unlocked. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've probably seen me talk a lot about going after low competition keywords. Um, everything there is still valid. We still do that every time we start a new site, we definitely target low competition keywords. However, that doesn't mean you should continue to target low competition keywords forever. There is actually some value in going after harder to rank for keywords as well. Um, and I'm not saying to do this from day one, but it should be part of your overall strategy um, when you look at your site, you know, a year down the road, maybe two years down the road or whatever. Um, so for one, there's a few reasons to do this, by the way, but for one, um, going after some higher competition keywords as you're starting to target those lower competition keywords early on can help with your topical authority. So let's say you're going after a cluster and that cluster has maybe 50 keywords in it and only 10 or so are low competition, ones that you'd say, okay, I can probably rank for these. If you only write those 10 articles, that's going to show Google, yes, you know something about the topic, but if you write maybe five or 10 more, and maybe they're a little bit above what you can rank for, it's at least gonna show Google that you know a little bit more about the topic. Basically, you're creating some of the, the uh, pieces of content on your site that Google would expect to see because your competitors are also creating those articles. And visitors, of course, as well, will, will come to your site and they will see that you're covering those other topics and that provides benefits to them as well. So that's one reason. Um, again, I wouldn't do this right off the bat, um, but it's something that you can start doing after you start publishing a batch of low competition keywords. Um, another reason to go after something, maybe that's not super hard to rank for, but just a little bit above what you think you can um, actually get traffic for, is that sometimes you'll actually kind of get lucky. So it doesn't matter how much um, competition analysis you do or how good you are at competition analysis, we've had many, many times where we will go after a keyword that we think we can easily rank for, and for whatever reason, Google does not rank us very well for it. And the opposite has also happened where we go after a keyword that we think is probably out um, out of bounds for us, so unrealistic for us to rank for. And for whatever reason, Google ranks us for it. And over time, we end up ranking number one for it. We've had this happen many, many times across all of our sites. And those are typically the keywords that are a little bit higher in search volume. So higher competition, higher search volume typically. And they end up bringing in a bulk of the traffic back to the site over time. So because of this, we do take shots uh, from time to time. So we, well, let's say that you're going to be targeting, again, you have 20 keywords, you're gonna target 10 of them that are low competition, you got five that are um, somewhat difficult and five that are high competition. The high competition ones, we would definitely push off to the side. The five that are medium competition, maybe we would write two or three of them and then move on to the next cluster. So that's typically what we would do. Just take about maybe two or three shots per cluster at some medium competition keywords, maybe ones that are just a little bit um, more difficult on the competition side than the other keywords that you're writing and just to see what happens with them. So the final reason that we like to go after hard to rank content sometimes is that your visitors and Google expect to see that content. So let me use an example on uh, mybackyardlife.com. So if you head over to that website, which is our site that um, we revealed publicly a while ago, you will see that Ben has written a ton of recipes for that site. Um, it's probably close to 100 posts, I'm guessing. Um, but the reason that he wrote those posts, so for one, he is he enjoys um, trying new recipes and whatnot, so he kind of enjoys the process. But aside from that, um, there are benefits to putting that kind of content on your site, and that's because your visitors expect to see it. So that site is named My Backyard Life, but keep in mind that when we started it, it was a grilling site. Basically, we picked a domain name that was broad enough to expand into down the road, but we started that site out as a grilling site, or Ben started it out, I should say. So it was all grilling content early on. So your visitors would expect to see recipes on a grilling site. And it's not just your visitors. Google would also expect to see recipes on a site about grilling because they're going to be looking at your competitors and seeing what kind of a um, content profile they have. So does the content on your site match the content on the other sites? Is it similar? Do you have the same type of content that your competitors have? So that's definitely important. Um, but aside from that, there's some uh, benefits to doing this that you might not realize at first. And this isn't going to uh, apply across the board, but this is something that in our case we weren't really expecting. Um, but when you go to look at the backlinks that are pointing at mybackyardlife.com, you will see that a lot of the big ones are actually pointed at recipes. And that's kind of odd because the recipes as a whole do not rank very well. Um, recipes are very difficult to rank for no matter what topic they're on, so whatever niche you're going into. Um, and that includes grilling recipes, of course, but for whatever reason, a lot of them have brought in backlinks. 
So again, if you didn't put that content on your site, you wanna have those backlinks. Those backlinks are helping to, to boost your site in all likelihood as a whole. So those are just some of the reasons. Uh, but again, definitely focus on low competition keywords early on and continue to do that until you gain some authority. But don't be afraid to go after some things that should be on your site or maybe some uh, articles that are just, just out of your competition level.